Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the real-world highway fuel economy test of the 2021 Acura TLX all-wheel drive. We're going to do this test, go 50 miles out, 50 miles back, averaging 70 miles per hour to get a real-world highway moving fuel economy average for this car. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at it. So this is the new beautiful TLX from Acura, totally redone for 2021. Featuring a 2 liter turbocharged inline 4, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, and in this model, all wheel drive. If you want to see more on the TLX, check the links in the description for our full review as well as a dedicated review of the ELS 3D surround sound audio system, which sounds excellent. So, why do we do this test? Well, the EPA Highway Fuel Economy Test, which gives this car 29 miles per gallon, that test only averages 48 miles per hour. We feel there are people who actually use their cars on long highway road trips and would like to know what sort of fuel economy they can expect at 70 miles per hour steady state. So to do that, we've got the tank down about halfway. We're going to go over here to the gas station, fill up using the three-click fueling method. We're going to head out on the highway, do 50 miles out, 50 miles back in the opposite direction, and average 70 miles per hour, and we're going to come back to the exact same fuel pump, fill up, and get a real average. Now a few things to note, the ambient temperature today is 35 degrees Fahrenheit. The tire pressures are set to their door placard 32 PSI cold. And we are going to be using premium fuel because that is what the EPA uses for this car. There we go, 8.528 gallons on our initial fill. Before we start the car, we're going to reset our GPS. We're also going to reset the vehicle's do, do, do. trip computer. Okay, trip computer B is reset. Now there are three drive modes in the TLX. There's sport, normal, and comfort. Now, I'm actually going to use comfort for this test. I feel that that will, that's kind of the closest setting to eco for this car. And I will have the climate control set at 73 degrees auto. So the fan is gonna pick up here but that's just what we have to deal with. Off we go. We're gonna drive nice and easy to the highway, which is about one mile away. Pick up the test from there. Now the goal of this test is not to hypermile, but rather to drive smoothly and efficiently and effectively in order to replicate how someone would regularly drive on a road trip. So we're gonna get up to speed at a safe clip, set our cruise control at 73 miles per hour, which should give us a moving average of at least 70 miles per hour over the duration of the test. And we're not gonna draft people. I'm gonna try to get this as regular as possible. Well, it looks like 74 miles per hour on the cruise control gives us about 73 miles per hour on the GPS. The car is sort of dancing between 73 and 74 right now. And off we go. We'll pick up the video at the end of the test. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of the entire trip.
Coming into the end, the highway fuel economy test here in the TLX. No big surprises. Vehicle readout's giving us 29.5 miles per gallon. That'll go down, or sorry, that'll go up a little bit as we get closer to the end here. Been a very uneventful test. We've averaged 71 miles per hour. I did end up dropping my cruise control down to 73, about two thirds of the way, no, maybe one third of the way through the test because the uh, average mile per hour was already up to 70. Been a comfortable cruiser. No revolutionary observations in terms of comfort. It is nice how many seat adjustments there are. Road noise is good. Not really any wind noise. Definitely a car you could pile on a lot of miles. We're gonna take it nice and easy back to the gas station fill up at the same pump using the same fueling method, get ourselves a number. There we are, to a stop, 102.2 on the GPS. Let's fill her up. Okay, there we are, 3.476 gallons going in. 102.2 divided by 3.476 gives us 29.4 rounded down to 29 miles per gallon. Boy, what a nice, re reliable readout. We've got 29.4 according to our calculations, 29 from the EPA, and 29.7 on the car's readout. So I think it's safe to assume that on highway trips with the 2021 Acura TLX all-wheel drive, you can expect to get 29 miles per gallon. Now this isn't the largest fuel tank that I've ever seen, so we've only got 15.9 gallons, so let's do 29 times 15.9 gives us an effective cruising range of 460 miles. All right, I hope you guys found that informative. If you did, hit that subscribe button, like the video, check out our other TLX content if you'd like, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.